Is it better to be a French to English translator or is it better to be a French to English translator focused on food and beverage? That is the question. So in today's video, I want to talk about niche and specializations. This video is actually probably for people who are already translating and uh, have already started their journey. The question will come up at some point, what kind of a niche you should get, if you should get one. Should you be very broad and general? Should you say I can translate a whole bunch of languages and a whole bunch of fields? Or should you be very specialized and say I can only translate these two languages in this one specialization? My advice heretofore has always been to narrow down the number of languages while keeping the specializations broad. But Lately, I've kind of been having a change of heart. I still think that you should keep a small number of languages. You shouldn't say, I can speak Portuguese, French, Spanish, Italian, and English, and I can do all these combinations of these languages, mainly because no one's going to believe you, really. No one's going to believe that you can do all the, translate to and from all those languages at the right level. What has changed is the specializations, because if you say that you can do legal translations, financial translations, marketing translations, art, art history, architecture, something else starting with R, and you can translate in all of these specializations very well. The main reason why I recommended having as many specializations as possible before was because when someone's searching for a specialization, if they're looking for someone who knows engineering, they'll go through a list of stuff you're specialized in, they see engineering, they're like, okay, cool. The reason why I'm now changing my mind a bit is because I've been getting a bit more picky about the translators I use also for this agency I'm setting up. And it happened a couple times that I have translators who are only specialized in what I've asked for, or maybe that and one other thing. It definitely made me want them. In fact, I was willing to pay more for them than I was for other translators who had a list of, say, 10, 15 specializations, including the one I asked for, right? Now, obviously I say this to people who've already started because you kind of already want a base of translations coming and going because if you just say you specialize in food and beverage, you're cutting off all the other sources of income. Anyone who needs economics, translations, financial translations, architecture translations, they are, they're a lot less likely to contact you. So if you've already kind of built up a business and you're trying to make it grow, I think it might be worth concentrating on obviously something you're good at, something you like translating, something you prefer to translate in. By all means, try to have that as your main focus. You know, maybe that and one other thing, one or two other thing, you know, but keep the list of specializations short so then when people do find you you'll stick out right away also this means that you'll get people who want a good translator not necessarily a cheap translator if they want a good translator they're willing to pay a bit more for someone who specializes specifically in that if they're looking for a cheap translator they don't care what you specialize in at all For those of you who do want to specialize in something, want to grow your business, and want to get paid more as a result of your business, then I do think it's a good way to expand, to not only find new clients, but ensure that any new clients you find pay you more. So those are just my two cents about specialization, and I hope you find it useful. Obviously, it's very nuanced. This is for someone who's already started their journey, because when you're just starting out, you have no idea what your specialization is. Even if you think you do, you don't. So I hope you found this useful. Uh, feel free to let me know, or let me know if you disagree as well in the comments. I'm always interested in that. Please leave a like, a thumbs up, and feel free to subscribe if you want more videos like this in the future. And yeah, otherwise, I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Or was I? Right. I can't think of a word. And I've, I've, I've no, and, 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 uh, and, and, hello.